This video is part of a series that undertakes to review the growth and development of the skeleton. We will discuss the origin, morphology and function of the osteoclast, an amazing cell that really is a shooting star, with cell biology of extreme complexity underlying its activity Osteoclasts are evanescent. They arise from fusion of macrophages, work in teams in conjunction with cells of osteoblast lineage, and create defects in bone. They die an apoptotic death within days and leave behind a marker, a defect in the bone surface called the Hauschip's lacuna, indicating that they have been there. The cell can be termed an energy-packed SOS pad moving through or on bone in teams, packed with mitochondria, deleting three times its cell volume over its short lifetime. It takes months for teams of osteoblasts to fill in the gap created in days by a single osteoclast. The context for this session is that at any one time, one million microscopic remodeling foci are working to provide scalpel homeostasis in you as you watch this video. For the osteoclast in 2003, there were at least 24 genes shown to regulate positively and negatively osteoclastogenesis and osteoclast act activation. In the same report, at least 60 proteins were listed as associated with pathways for osteoclast regulation. To say that all of this is complex is an understatement, as the numbers of genes and proteins is likely more than hundreds and perhaps thousands as much is still unknown about this one cell. For most of the videos the emphasis is on what is occurring on the H&E slide. This video is more about the cell biology of the osteoclast. This diagram adapted from Teitelbaum's work summarizes the take-home message for this video. The cells involved on the left in osteoclastogenesis are stromal cells of osteoblast lineage resident in bone, osteoclast precursors in the monocyte macrophage family, and the osteoclast. The steps involved are the stromal cells produce cytokines rank L and M CSF, which recognize their receptors rank and CFMS respectively on the macrophages, which are usually of marrow origin. The macrophages are thus stimulated to aggregate and fuse and fully 10 to 20 cells become the mature osteoclast. The steps are blocked by osteoprotogerin, also produced by the stromal cells. The mature osteoclast is activated by rank L to become active and delete bone. It changes to do this by polarizing on its contact with bone and by altering its cytoskeleton in response to matrix derived signals which are linked to the integrin alpha, alpha B beta 3 leading to its ability to create a highly acidic microenvironment in the gap between it and the bone surface, the so-called resorption vacuole, where the dissolution of mineral precedes the lysing of the organic components of bone, principally by cathepsin K. The acidic environment in the resorption vacuole is created by the following. For the hydrogen ions, production inside the cell by carbonic anhydrase 2 and then transmembrane delivery via an H plus ATPase pump. For the chloride, delivery into the cell in exchange for bicarbonate via a, an electroneutral chloride bicarbonate exchanger and then transmembrane delivery by an ion channel charged couple to the H plus ATPase. The essential signaling pathway for osteoclastogenesis is known. This is the link initiated by rank L that allows an intracellular cascade beginning with 
the tumor necrosis receptor associated factor and ending with nuclear factor of activated T cells, which triggers the transcription of osteoplastic genes. Stop the video at this point and review this sequence. In terms of dynamics, the balance between rank L and osteoprotogerin is the principal determinant of skeletal mass. Understanding and simplifying these basic science concepts will stand you well as a clinician, as Teitelbaum's quote attests. Osteopetrosis is rare. It presents as increased bone formation and is due to defects in which osteoclast recruitment or function is defective. The defects are in the rank, rank L OPG signaling access. The idiopathic condition Paget's disease, a condition of disordered remodeling, may manifest as increased bone formation. Paget's will likely be found to be a genetic defect in the signaling axis. Interestingly, the juvenile form of Paget's is due to osteoprotogerin deficiency. Far more common, however, are disorders of excessive clast activity manifesting as osteoporosis. Osteo osteogenesis imperfecta is the only anomaly where it is the absence of effective blasts that produces osteopenia. In most, if not all other forms of generalized osteoporosis, the balance swings to excessive osteoclastic function as the culprit, leading to the reduced bone mass. Cancer, inflammation, infection and trauma all are associated with regional osteopenia. This is a result of enhanced expression of rank L and M CSF, induced by local cytokines such as tumor necrosis uh, factor alpha and IL-6 in rheumatoid arthritis. Treatment approaches of osteoporosis are now focused on modalities to modify the rank, rank L OPG signaling axis. Bone removal is either chemical or cellular. The osteoclast is the only cell removing bone. Beyond this, chemical bone removal can be one of two types. First is onchosis, a chemical dissolution of bone around a dead or dying osteocyte, which produces on an h and &E slide an enlarged lacuna, the home of the osteocyte. In this situation, the lacuna is usually empty that may have residual cell fragments. Then there is an ongoing chemical mineral exchange from the free surfaces of bone around each cell and cellular process, around each vessel canal, on the exposed surfaces of all trabeculi and on the industrial layer of the cortex. These surfaces combined make up a huge surface area, providing a pool of mineral and hydrogen ions acting as a ready resource for acid-base metabolism, about 72 hours worth. There is no true deletion of the net structure of bone involved, but rather a give and take of ions of calcium, phosphate, and hydrogen. In the following h and &E slides, I will outline in more detail the actual images of what I described in the opening diagram. This is an activated osteoclast deleting bone creating a Hauschutz lacuna. Activation of macrophages by rank L and MCSF induces individual cells to fuse and become the multinucleated polykaryon, that is the mature osteoclast. These cells, once formed, can simply sit and wait, often at the junctions of Haversian and Volkmann's canals, and then are stimulated by rank L to initiate bone deletion. The cell moves to a bone surface, polarize, polarizes, and undergoes internal change, altering its cytoskeleton, forming a tight junction between the bone surface and the osteoclast. Three zones emerge, a sealing zone with complex biochemistry here and here. This involves integrins and we discussed that. Imagine the structural details that have to occur for this cell to move as it does along the bone surface as it fulfills its task of bone removal. A ruffled border, increasing the surface area for absorption, develops on the side opposite the raw bone surface of the Hauschutz lacuna, and a basal membrane on the outside isolates the clast from its surroundings 
as it begins its work. This creates at the bone surface what is called a resorption vacuole. And this would be the limits of that. Once the clast starts resorbing bone a fourth zone, a functional secretory domain forms in the basal membrane associated with the transport of material to the extracellular space. Mineral dissolution of bone occurs first under the ruffled border through the action of hydrochloric acid at a pH that is reported somewhere between 2 to 4.5. Cytoplasmic or carbonic anhydrase 2 drives hydrogen ion formation, which is then driven across the ruffled border by the H plus ATPase pump. The chloride ion has entered this cell in exchange for bicarbonate and moves to the ruffled border and into the resorption vacuole via a channel charge coupled to the H plus ATPase, thus generating the hydrochloric acid which produces the required ambient pH. The acidity mobilizes the mineral phase, exposing the organic matrix of bone. The cell is filled with multitudes of mitochondria which provide the ATP for the significant energy required for bone dissolution. The proton pump is an absolute requirement for bone resorption to occur normally. Dissolution of the mineral leaves exposed the organic components, primarily collagen 1. Proteolytic enzymes, primarily lysosomal protease, cathepsin K, undertake the removal of these components. Inactivating mutations of the chloride channel are among the many defects in osteoclast function that cause human osteopetrosis. Whereas the sclerosing bone disease pycnodysostosis reflects failure to produce functional cathepsin K. Tart tartrate resistant acid phosphatase is also released into the resorption vacuole. The precise action of this enzyme is unknown. It does, however, leak out into the serum, leading to its use as an indicator of excessive bone resorption, a marker in metabolic bone disorders. The released collagen and other fragments, as well as solubilized calcium and phosphate, are taken in by endocytosis from the resorption lacuna into the cell. They're transported to membrane-bound vesicles within the cytoplasm, and you can see them here within this slide. There are lots of them. The degradation products are processed within the osteoclast, ending up in the specialized region of the basal membrane called the FSD. Ultimately, they are released into the extracellular space. The fate of the osteoclast is apoptosis. Little is known about how exactly this happens. This completes the video on the osteoclast. I recommend reviewing the references, which provide much more detail, especially on control mechanisms and the use of manipulating the rank, rank L, OPG, signaling axis to achieve improved treatment of osteoporosis. The next video reviews the role of the osteoclast in bone remodeling. At the end of these videos, or in these videos, I feel compelled to acknowledge with thanks Dr. Don Sweet and Dr. Lent Johnson, both now past, who prepare the microscopic slides and some of the morphologic concepts that have been discussed.